Hey there, it's Matt Tommy, and I'm so glad that you joined me here in the Equipping Center. This month we're talking about overcoming perfectionism, which if you're a creative at all, you're probably going, yes, 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 there's got to be a way to overcome this perfectionism. I always think it's really funny that uh, the Lord gave me, who is a person who's always struggled with performance and perfectionism, uh, gave me this medium of of basketry and taking wild vines and and things that absolutely have no sense or order or uh, perfection in them at all and gave that to me as my creative medium in order to learn how to to really flow uh, with the spirit and and flow in the kingdom uh, in my own creativity but also in my life and uh, it's given me a lot of things to think about and uh, things that I've learned over the years about uh, overcoming uh, my own perfectionistic tendencies but I wanted to start this video by reading a a short quote from uh, one of my favorite writers Julia Cameron who if you're familiar with the book The Artist's Way um, she wrote that and and several others but this is from a book that she wrote called Finding Water um, The Art of Perseverance and she says this about uh, perfectionism I thought it was just really profound and a great way for us to start our conversation today she said perfectionism doesn't believe in practice shots It doesn't believe in improvement. Perfectionism has never heard anything worth doing is worth doing badly. And that if we allow ourselves to do something badly, we might in time become quite good at it. No, perfectionism measures our beginner's work against the finished work of masters. Perfectionism thrives on comparison and competition. It doesn't know how to say, good try or job well done. The critic does not believe in creative glee, or any glee for that matter. No, perfectionism is a serious matter. I agree, it it really is a serious matter for those of us who have struggled with perfectionism in our own creative journey and in our own life. It can be something that we joke about, but at the same time it can be something that's that's almost debilitating uh, for creatives when we don't allow the fullness of the kingdom and the fullness of learning to to trust God and flow uh, in the the power of the kingdom. When we don't allow those things to to flow and move in us, it really can be uh, debilitating and be a real big roadblock. And so one of the things I want to talk about today is really learning how to, to overcome uh, a lot of the different things that have to do with perfectionism. But before we start that, I want to actually talk to you about what perfectionism is, maybe four or five things that um, sort of define perfectionism, if you will. Number one, I believe that as I look at my own life and, and the lives of other artists that, that I know, perfectionism leaves no room for exploration. And so the strategies and and all the sort of things that that God gives us that are many times wrapped in sort of this journey of exploration are really stopped in their tracks when it comes to uh, perfectionism kind of being uh, the model that we live by. And so it strangles beauty in it and it strangles the creative process in our own life because there's no room uh, for any kind of exploration or what's over there or, or what's this or, or let's, let's do something that's unexpected. No, no, no. Perfectionism does not allow that. It's got to be right. It's got to be right the first time. It's got to be right every time. The second thing I notice about perfectionism is that it demands life and creativity without mistakes. I don't know about you, but I make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> I try to learn from my mistakes. I try to you know, let them be learning opportunities and opportunities for growth. But when you're dealing with perfectionism, any mistake is life or death. It seems like the whole world is coming to an end because somehow you've been exposed or somehow people are going to find out who the real you is.